Hello guys, welcome to the HODL EOS channel. If you are new, my name is Rob. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to join the HODL gang. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps you need to take to get started with the Anchor Wallet by either setting up a new wallet or restoring from a backup file. You can use backup files from Anchor, EOS Voter, and Scatter Wallets. Though currently in the 1.0.4 version of Anchor, the Scatter Backup Import is an experimental feature. As of right now, this version is a pre-release version. So when you're watching this, any of the bugs that may be found with the scatter backup import may have been ironed out. And if you can't get the scatter import to work, you can always create a new wallet and import your keys one by one instead of using a backup file. Starting off, we are going to go through how to import your accounts via a backup file. Again, this can either be an anchor, EOS voter, or scatter backup file. In the EOS voter wallet, in the tools section, when you come to the manage wallets page, there is a backup file, save backup file button. If you do not already have a backup file from EOS voter, that is how you get it. And in scatter version 11.0.1, .1, in the settings section, there is the backup section where you can create a backup file as well. So that is how you get the backup file in EOS Voter and in Scatter version 11. So once you have your backup file, just click Restore from Backup File and select your backup file. This is a backup file from EOS Voter. And now the Anchor Wallet has pulled the accounts from that backup file, but we do need to upgrade some of these wallets. So click Upgrade Wallet Storage and input your password. Once that is complete, you will see the screen allow Anchor to integrate with apps. So if you want to use your Anchor wallet to connect to different apps, much like how many people use Scatter now, click yes, enable app integrations. If not, if you just want to use it as a wallet, to send and receive tokens and you don't want to connect to apps, hit no, remain disabled. I'm going to choose yes. And there you go. Now you have your accounts imported from your backup file to the Anchor Wallet. Up at the top here, you can see your accounts. I have the Send EOS to Rob account and the HODL EOS Voter EOS accounts. And then you can also select other EOS IO blockchains to the left of that. Beos shows me my Beos account that I have connected. Telos shows me the Telos account that I had in the backup file. So that's all that needs to be done for importing from a backup file. If something doesn't work for you or you just want to reset your wallet, come to the tools section on Anchor and click reset application. This will take you back to the first screen we saw. Here we go. And from this screen, we'll go right into setting up a new wallet. If you do not want to restore from a backup file, you can set up a new wallet. When you set up a new wallet, you will create a new password and be able to import accounts one by one using their keys. So click set up new wallet. Next, you will select which blockchains you plan on using. You can add and subtract uh, blockchains later on. But for me, mainly use EOS and Telos and Wax. So I'm going to start out with those three and click Enable Blockchains. So now I have EOS, Telos, and Wax enabled. If I wanted to add or remove, click here, add and remove more if I want to. Let's add in BEOS as well. Enable four blockchains. Now we need to add accounts. So I'm going to select EOS and this takes us to the home page of EOS with no EOS accounts connected. And here I can import an account or use the existing account button. Here I can import an, an existing account using a private key or import an existing account using a Ledger hardware wallet. I want to import with a private key. Before you add any accounts to Anchor, you will need to create a password for Anchor and click set password and re-enter that password, set password. Now with the password set, I can import my EOS account's private key. 
This is for the send EOS to Rob account using my active key. And your private key begins with the number five and is 51 characters long. And once you input your private key, you will see the following accounts have matched the information provided. Send EOS to Rob active key. Yes. Click that. That is the account I want to import. Click import account. Input your anchor password. And again, do you want to allow Anchor to integrate with apps? Yes or no? Yes, I do. And now the Send EOS to Rob account is connected. To add another wallet, click on the Manage Wallets button. And here I can import more accounts by clicking Import Account. And repeat that process all over again. Same can be done for other blockchains. Telos. Just select Telos, come to the Manage Wallets import account and import account and wax and any other blockchains you have selected and if you want to add more blockchains or subtract blockchains away click on the blockchains up here manage blockchains and here add remove that simple let's go back to eos home and there we go that's how you get started using the anchor wallet by either importing your accounts from a backup file or importing accounts from a key. I'll be doing more videos on Anchor Wallet. If you have something specific you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please make sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click on that notification bell to join the HODL gang. That's going to do it for me for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one.